One of the things that's really frustrating about working in the winter time is my office does not have a heater in it and they freeze up and they stink like crazy. So anytime I have to go do some paperwork, it's freezing cold and it stinks. So if somebody out there could figure out a heating system, be greatly appreciated. Um, I'd like to order two of them. We'll take two of those. Because uh, what we got going here this time of year, not good. Not good at all. Things are coming along. We're starting this uh, this sheeting back here. We're gonna get the walls sheeted. It's a really nice day, but this is the calm before the storm. We're supposed to get a bunch of supposed to get a whole bunch of snow tomorrow, and so I'd like to get all of these walls stood up, and uh, then we won't have to try and fight them in the in the cold and snow. So I'll I'll uh, bring you along as we try and get these stood up today. see the way the router trims up that OSB leaves a really nice clean edge see back here we're working on standing walls we're getting them sheeted um, that's half inch OSB that we're putting down and um, it's cruising right along the big push is to try and get all of the walls stood up today that'll be we're shooting for all the exterior walls You can see back here that we're having to sheet it, but at the same time we're, we're trying to rack things to square everything up. So a lot of times we have to pound on it to try and line it up. Um, but that way when it stands up and it's all sheeted, that it stands up and it's, it's all square. So that's why we're beating the crap out of it. These guys have been making fun of my wool overalls. Um, I, I like the Carhartts, they're great, but they're a little bit heavy. The wool is warmer, it blocks the wind better, and, but it's got a plaid to it. I mean, I am mad about plaid, but these guys are making fun of me. I mean, they said that if I lived above the 50th, is it 50th parallel? 50th? Above the 50th parallel. Which is Canada, right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm close to it. We're, we're like 49 and 7 eighths, right? Uh, we're close. We couldn't be any closer. 
So I'm at 49 and I'm at the 49th parallel. Apparently I can only wear wool bibs if I'm over the 50th parallel. So they've been busting my chops all day about these things. And I think, I think there's, I think they're a little, they're sporty and they're warm and they block the wind. And so who cares if I look like a walking candy cane? Hey. You're telling me that you would not wear these? I didn't say I wouldn't wear them. Just not above, not unless you're above the 50 parallel. Out here in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> okay, so. Actually, I'd probably wear them at home too, so, you know. Okay, so it's appropriate attire for the job site, but not for date night with the wife. That would not be. Definitely. No. Remind me of this Paul Wheat. That dude just called me Paul Wheaton. You look like Paul in your overalls. I do look like Paul in my overalls. <laughs> I think that's, that's Paul. Paul has excellent taste. Um, hey, but let's let's keep this let's keep this uh, family friendly. Family friendly. Um, these are wool. Paul's more of a denim guy. Yeah, so Paul would be denims, I would be... But well, you're still wearing the coveralls. But the coveralls are great this time of year. If you catch me wearing coveralls midsummer, then you can verbally abuse me. Until then... No, because I'll probably have my denims by then. Are you, you like to rock the denims in the... Yeah, hell yeah. They are comfy. See, I think Paul's on to something. Yeah. The, and this session of... Uh, Job site workwear is proudly brought to you by Central Mountain Homesteading. Uh, where it's not what you wear, it's where you You're wear good. it. Are you on one inch? Yeah. I'll check your work. Okay. I can go. Go. Beauty. I feel like it's getting better as we go. Maybe. The last one. Was... By the way, there's an X right there in that corner on this board. That's for, for the, the router. Okay. Stop. Right back here, we've got the. There's a sliding glass door that comes out of the kitchen. Um, we're lifting all of the, the big walls first, and then we'll go back in and tuck in all the little walls just because we'll have to move them around. They're easy to, a lot easier to, to move around if they're smaller. But things are coming along. It's going to be a good day. I'm, I'm not looking forward to snow. We've been really lucky to just have cold, but without snow. Snow makes everything wet and heavy. So it'll be good to get these exterior walls up and out of the way. Now these are two by six walls and with all the big headers that are in them to carry the trusses because the, the trusses span from one side of the house to the other. So these outside walls have got to be really beefy and really strong. Um, once we move to the interior walls, we'll, everything will be two by four and um, it'll be a lot easier to move those around. <laughs> Thank you.
lives. See if you can push. Down. Down, down, down. Down. Oh. I'm clear. Two more. Stop. Two more. That's probably, we probably should have split that wall in half. Yeah.